Hey, it's Roman with Deer Park Farmstead. Time to assess the garden. Look what's going on around here and uh, how much I have to clean up. And it really isn't that much. Uh, I really cleaned up a lot prior to going into winter. So I'll give you guys a look at all the beds and uh, what I have to do to get ready for planting season. Uh, things are looking really good. The weather is back up there, the temps. So it's definitely that time. So I have to go get some compost and uh, get these beds all nice and shaped up. And uh, I'll, see, I'll let you guys have a look at them. Coming in over here on the right side, as we enter into the gate here, we've got some overwinter onions that need to come out. This bed's completely clean. On this side, we have this bed here clean. Those are pumpkins, more pumpkins. Some beans we had, these were the poles for the beans. We're not gonna do the beans, I don't think, this year. Uh, watermelon bed just needs a little raking. Not that bad. I had to clean this up here that I, that I pulled out all the corn and stuff. Uh, as you can see, these beds are looking perfect just need to get some compost in here um, this is oregano it comes back every year so let's see it like in there you can see it in there so we'll just cut this down and let it grow back up to where it is now it really does well every year it comes back um, I just got to pull these I believe those were tomatillos they come out really easy Take me long at all to pull all this out. Easy stuff. Over here are the strawberries. They'll be coming back again on their own. We love our strawberries. And over here on this side, these beds. I had some arugula in this bed and just overwintered it and so that gave this bed a little bit of some nutrients uh, that's kale right there that's been overwintered pull that out and redo this bed so really we don't have much at all here to do there's just a few little stragglers right there some broccoli that we had and we'll go in that tunnel. Check out the tunnel here. This was a broccoli bed. And remember I had mentioned that I used some of my neighbor's compost or manure, horse manure. Well, this was one of the beds and you can see there's some, you know, definitely weed pressure in here and that's because of that stuff. Put some over here. You can see it in there. Overwinter arugula still hanging on. And just some stragglers in there of some lettuce and a little weed pressure. So just keep away from that horse manure. It's just not good. Over on this side of the tunnel, I tried those potatoes, nothing came of it. So, whatever, I just put some more nice uh, biochar in there. So I've got nutrients in the soil and I'm okay with that. We'll just uh, start fresh. Just gotta take a rake to this. Get it nice and cleaned up in here. More compost, tons of compost. We, My wife and I want to get just a ton of it and get these beds nice and rejuvenated. All right, got a little rake in here. I mean, those sticks that were there. I mean, a little bit of this up here. Got a little rake on everything just to see how everything looks 
And man, did that clean that up nice, huh? Took those tomatillos out. So we're looking pretty good. Pretty much ready to go. Let's rock and roll on this. We've got a lot of starts ready to go, so we gotta get planting here. So a little bit of cleanup, not that big a deal. Really easy, probably just a couple hours and I'm gonna be ready to plant. Pretty stoked here. So there's a little brush up. I'll be continuing this series, this garden series throughout the season. So hope you enjoyed. Talk to y'all soon, be well.